My name is Leroy Burden and I'm the Assistant Campaign Manager uh, for Digital for the Cooperative Food. My day-to-day -day role involves spending most of my day on Facebook and Twitter, getting ideas for different ways that we can talk to our customers and really innovate in what we're doing. So customers can find lots of really interesting things on our channels. For example, on Instagram, it's all about really beautiful photography, but we also share a lot of teaser videos about upcoming content for the food magazine. Facebook it is very much about um, building communities. On Facebook, we'll do a lot of deals so we can show consumers what kind of products that we've got coming to stores and the good value that we can offer them. Twitter is a lot more immediate and is used a lot more for, from a customer relations point of view. So customers are able to get in contact with us with any issues that they're having. YouTube is very much about uh, how-to videos and giving customers inspiration and recipe ideas. Pinterest is more about what customers like, so they're able to look around Pinterest and gather information um, and inspiration for recipes. Last year we also launched Dinner for Tonight, which is a, a standalone website where customers can go and get inspiration for a meal for that evening. It's a meal generator where customers can choose different moods or feelings or what they fancy for that evening and then it gives them all the ingredients, how they can do it, and it's really simple, and nearly all the recipes can be done in around 30 minutes, so it allows them to get the inspiration, and then on the way home, they can pick up all the ingredients and make a really nice meal. To support Dinner for Tonight on our social channels, we quite often share a lot of the recipes that are available. One of the things that we've been working on quite a lot is our food grids, which are a food-based version of the popular outfit grids that you can see across other social media channels. So it's really about showing consumers our really interesting products, but in a really different way. Some of the most popular posts that we've done have been through our YouTube channel. So we did some work with a YouTube vlogger called Doug, who's done some food hack videos for us, which um, were aimed at the student market because we offer our NUS discount in stores. I suppose the favourite part for me is being creative, getting really involved in the way we talk to customers and what we're sharing with customers, um, attending the photo shoots for the food grids and getting really involved in writing the copy. Alongside the food development side of the business, it's another place where we're able to really innovate and do things a bit more differently.